What's happening, man? What's going on, man? MTB, Mr. T. Breeze, man. Let's talk for a minute, man, about scammers, man. Y'all are just so lame. That's <laughs> all I know. So listen, man, uh, let me tell you about this scamming situation. Look, so I go online, uh, social media, and I'm like, yo, you know, you know how we do. We support uh, small businesses. We definitely support, you no know, black-owned businesses. So we go to these uh, these little groups on social media where there are people who are entrepreneurs. And, you know, you go into the comments and you be like, hey, you know, I'm in search of this particular service. You no, know, can anybody help? And then people will comment and they will share uh, person's names. And then also people who are entrepreneurs will tag themselves or they'll, you know, be in the comments and be like, hey, you know, I can help. Hit me up. So I go and, you know, I'm uh, in a position where I'm having this event that's coming up. It's coming up pretty quickly, like in the next day. And I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get a tablecloth, maybe a couple of T-shirts done. You know today or tomorrow a couple of people uh recommended some people and i was like cool i hit them up uh the people who were recommended they was like you know i can't do it that fast you know i'm sorry i would love to help but i got some other stuff going on i can't get the order done that fast cool some other people reached out who were entrepreneurs and they was like hey you know i can get the order done just kind of let me know what you're looking for and we can go from there so I told them what I was looking for, trying to get a tablecloth made and a couple of t-shirts. And they are like, okay, cool. Do you have your design already? Do you need a design? You know, we're talking all of the the, the uh, preliminaries, right? I guess that's what you call it. And so once we got that situated, I say, you know, hey, how much would it cost? They say how much it will cost. Now, and when we're doing business with people, right? Because I respect people's business. Even though I don't know you, even though I ain't never dealt with you before, I respect people's business because I want people to respect my business. So these persons was like, um, you know, hey, uh, this is what it's going to cost. I can get it done for you. I'm going to put the rush order in. I'm about to get it done, you know, and I'll definitely have it to you before you need it tomorrow. Cool. Put the order in. And like any business, you know, that you take seriously, you know, especially when you're doing a service for somebody, especially someone who you're not really familiar with, you ask for a deposit because your time, your product, all those things are very important and you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste the customer's time. So, you know, you ask for a deposit to make sure that the work can get done. Pretty normal stuff, right? Cool. Send the deposit person hit me back hey i'm done with the work go ahead and send the rest of it nah nah we ain't about to do that nah so i'm like hey you know show me the work so they sent me a picture now y'all know we live in 2024 man technology is everything man you can do so much from from your phone you ain't gotta have a laptop now so they sent me these pictures of a t-shirt one t-shirt with my logo on it you can do that on your phone copy and paste it's very simple it plus plus i'm tech savvy so that don't that don't make no difference to me so then they sent um a picture of a tablecloth on a table again with the logo copy and pasted i'm tech savvy that does not impress me so i say to them i say listen this is what you do send me a video of the finished product then they start talking crazy. My huh? Why would I do that? I can't. Uh, you know, I I can't. But I said, well, I, I can't. I can't know that you've done the work without a video. Matter of fact, you can FaceTime me or, or video chat me so I can see that the work is done. They they were like, oh well, I'm a I'm gonna finish up the order. Then I'm gonna hit you back. But you said you finished the order. Oh, give me give me a few minutes and then I'm gonna hit you back. Yeah. Okay. So then they hit me. And they said, oh well, the order's finished. Where are we gonna meet at? I give them a spot, say we're going to meet. They say, okay, I'll meet you there. I say, how long is it going to take? I say, oh, about 30 minutes or so. So I'm like, okay, cool. So 30 minutes go by. I hit them up. I say, hey, are you there? Oh, I'm in traffic. You know, I'm like 10 minutes away. So 10 minutes go by. I say, you there? They say, yeah, I'm getting off the exit now. Two seconds later, I get a text say, Oh, I'm in trap, but you said you was getting off the exit. So, because I know at this point, well, I knew way back when it was a scam, right? 
you don't hear nothing else from these people. They stop talking. They stop communicating. So, moral of the story is, man, y'all lame. Y'all scammers, man. It's real people out here trying to do real things, man. So, you know, that's why uh, I'm very happy that, you know, my business, you know what I'm saying, people can, can give a great report about my business. I ain't never scammed nobody. I ain't never pimped nobody out no money. Listen, my integrity and the name of my business is more important than a couple of dollars. So, because y'all had fun scamming, enjoy your deposits. And if I ever see you, we're going to have some problems.